Hello guys, this is Xlante and today I have a brand new tutorial, a brand new Photoshop tutorial on how to create an outline outside on outline. To do that, you will head over to Google or if you have any footage, any image, any photo you have, click on copy on the image and click on file, new, click on create and paste it, just like this. After that, head over to the quick selection tool by clicking here or by clicking W on your keyboard. Okay, now let's make this boy selected, our precious boy PewDiePie. Let's select his headphones, the left side, the right side. Let's zoom in a little bit. Let's make his right side of the headphone selected and let's contract this selection a little bit. So this one should look fine. Click on the minus sign to contract once again. And you can always switch from plus to minus. Okay, the selection looks nice. Also while zooming Ctrl plus minus or Ctrl plus plus is for zooming. Click on space to see this hand. Do you see it? This is his nose. Doesn't it look cute? Yeah, that's our boy PewDiePie. Look at this face. As if he's gonna rape you any second. Alright. Let's make a nice selection. Click on plus. And make the selection a little bit more better. After you got the selection the way you want it, click on Ctrl J and delete the background. For me that's layer 1. Click here and click on your keyboard delete and you have the background deleted. Also make the brush a little bit bigger, I mean the eraser tool. To enter the eraser tool click on E on your keyboard or click the eraser tool which is located on this tool panel just on your left side. Make sure the opacity is set to 100%, the flow is 100% and the hardness around 20%. And try to delete this edges, make the edges around his head a little more softer. Alright, this should look fine. Just a few more tweaking. Alright, we are doing great. So let's create on outline. Click on blending options by clicking right click and then going to blending options. Or you can click twice on here and click on stroke. After clicking on stroke, you can choose color. I will use white, but when we are using white, nothing will show because the background is white. So we are going to inverse the background which is called layer 0. As you can see when I remove the layer 0 white background you can actually see that there is a white stroke around PewDiePie. Also let's enable the white stroke and let's invert it. Make it black. Also as you can see we made a mistake around here and we're gonna fix this with our eraser tool. So, with your eraser tool, you can make your edges look a lot better. Control plus minus, and let's get back. I'm always constantly using zoom, and I'm pressing the spacebar to move from the bottom to the top, just like this. It's fun to play with new tools. Alright, guys. I think that I got the selection the way I wanted, but somehow I deleted the background. I'm gonna paste this image once again on his back and let's make sure that his stroke has another stroke around this white stroke. To do that, click on stroke, click on outer glow and make sure spread is 100% and the range is 100%. The size is 32%, the 
blending option is normal click ok and boy oh boy this is what we have now to make the things even more beyond let's first add the blur I usually use the Gaussian blur but for this situation I'm gonna use the motion blur make sure the distance is 111 the angle is 0 and this is what we got our boy PewDiePie you can add infinity strokes or outlines around a person around an image just by doing this click on drop shadow make the speed 100% and make the distance 0 make it a little bit bigger also click again on on this FX little sign click on drop shadow once again make sure the opacity is 100% distance is 0 and you can only use one drop shadow this is where is the white drop this is the white drop shadow and this is the drop shadow that's about the white drop shadow so this is the white one we're going to create another white one just by doing this click on normal make him a little bit bigger and now underneath make sure it's underneath click on drop shadow and make a black outline distance of course always zero spread is 100 percent and the size is a little bit more bigger than it was and so guys this is the way you can add infinity drop shadows around your image and this is what we got also I like to add a glow around him so I'm gonna add another drop shadow drop shadow 35 we added it around here I think let's make 100% 100 this is 0 and this is 59 and let's make sure this one is white the blending mode is set to screen and this is what we got a nice outline like he's glowing or something also you can add color dodge it always looks nice it adds that realistic glow around him but I always use screen because it's a natural white and this is what we got PewDiePie around hmm, how many outlines are this one two three four layers of outlines that's how much we made and guys this is it for this tutorial if you found it helpful please make sure that you subscribe to my channel if you want to see more tutorials like this regarding Photoshop and uh, for example Sony Vegas After Effects and Illustrator then subscribe and guys, I will be seeing you the next time. Stay awesome.